<clears throat> like I said in the beginning, 2019 is definitely motherfucking here. That's the first thing I thought about this morning. Like, fuck. Christmas is fucking over. We got a couple more days of this bullshit. And then on the 7th, it takes a couple more days. People got to talk about that bullshit of where they went to Morocco and they smoked hash with some fucking Indian. So nobody's really fucking full navigating until the 15th of January. That shit pisses me the fuck off, you know. But we'll talk about that stuff later. What I really want to talk to you about that I noticed I've noticed for the first time this year. I've noticed it in people before, but I really didn't notice it as much as I did this year. It was like, I don't know, maybe I'm getting older and you look at things. For the first time in a long time, I, I realized how people, there's a lot of people out there that don't do well over the holidays. What do you mean don't do well? They just don't do well. This part of the year does not agree with them, and I'm one of those people. Is it like you were, what you were talking about earlier with people aren't working or it's just emotionally? Just just emotionally. Some people do not click this time of the year. They, they, and, and the, I was in New York last week. You know, I could be honest with you guys. I was in New York last week. Did I want to fucking be there? I'd rather be in my fucking warm house minding my business, mm -hmm. going to kickboxing and shit like that. I went to New York for my family. I took my wife and my daughter, and uh, it was cold, and there was ferries to take, and uh, Monday alone, we took fucking six Ubers. and yeah. But their happiness made me happy. Did I give a Frenchman's fuck about Christmas? Not really. I mean, the lights blew me away at Saks Fifth Avenue, and the tree, look, you saw a tree. You, you've been seeing trees since you were fucking three, so it's got fucking lights on it. St. Patrick's is overwhelming, but my point is this. It's, I don't know, I, and I thought about it when I was there. I don't know. I don't know if it's those scumbag kids that ruined it by telling me fucking there was no Santa. I don't know if my mother dying gave me a weird feeling about Christmas, but I always just, just, it just, because you see some people and they're having a great time and they wear the fucking ugly sweaters and they go to parties and they take pictures and it's supposed to be joyous. You've been sitting there smoking a joint. There's people singing outside your door and you're like, what the fuck do I do now? Like, what, what, what do I do? I got people singing outside my door. You open the door and you're standing like a jerk off and you look at them and then you give them candy, or a couple of dollars. You get a dollar, you get a fucking throat lozenger. I don't know. I, I just never got that. How has it changed for you since you've had mercy? Christmas is for her. But my wife will tell you, there's a couple of things I hate doing in life. <laughs> I ain't going to the fucking doctor, but you got to go. You know, you got to give them blood. But if I tell you what I hate the most, I hate shopping. I hate shopping. When I got to go buy clothes... I go in there like a fucking hurricane. I go in there. I know what size I am. I know what waist. I know what jeans I want. When I'm in a fucking the, the tall fat store up at the Panga Canyon up there, right? Double X, whatever. It's 15 minutes. Like I know exactly what I'm looking for. I know the sections to go to. I, couple, I look at a couple things. I go to the section that's got the blue dots where it's like 40 percent <laughs> off and shit. <clears throat> but I know exactly what the fuck I want, but I hate going Christmas shopping. Like, I'd rather give you the 20 and go buy yourself a fucking bottle of booze. Leave me the fuck alone. I gotta, I gotta hunt and rap. I, I, I just, it just never, I don't understand. It just never really. So growing up, you're always doubting yourself. Like, why do I feel this way? Growing up, I'd be at a house and people be giggling and shit. And all I'd want to do is watch the football game. You know, that's all you really want to do. You're interested for the onion dip and the football game, you know, and it's kind of sad. So I thought it was just me. And then you fucking go out into the world and you bump into different people. And I remember having a friend in Snowmass, good guy. And I didn't figure it out till like the third year I was in Snowmass. 
that he would disappear on the holidays. He would disappear and just lay low. And I asked his brother, and he goes, you didn't know this by hanging out with him so long? You never see him over the holidays? And I thought about it. <clears throat> you just never saw it. Something happened to him when he was a kid over the holidays, and he, he never got that. I get it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you, you asked me when you got here what I was doing for New Year's. I'm not a big party guy at all. So New Year's for me, I like to stay in sometimes. sometimes, And sometimes it gets lonely, but I've gotten to a point where I enjoy it. And I I honestly think, cause I, well, the reason why I asked about Mercy is my mom was here for two weeks, and it, it was great. I hadn't seen her in about a year other than a couple days in Boston. And it, it made me think about you. I was like, I can't. Now, every time I see her, part of me, even though I hate admitting it, is like, I wonder if this is the last time I'll see her. And I can't imagine what it would be like to have holidays without without her. So, with it, and whether or not, like, what maybe you just don't have, get along with your family, or maybe you just don't like people. I get it. I don't like being around a lot of people. So, for me, like, instead of being down about it, I try to be like, okay, well, what do I... if? If it's going to make me happy to sit at home and watch a Three Stooges marathon on AMC. That's what it is. Then just do what, like, give yourself the gift of just being, making yourself happy. happy right. That, right. That, that's the way I That's a good at. angle. That's a great angle. I, that, that, I agree with you. I did it for years. I did it for years. I didn't want to impose my, not saying misery, but not understanding. And I, remember I was raised Catholic and I get the effects that Jesus was born and I get all that stuff and I love giving gifts. I love all that shit. Just, it's not like I'm fucking, you know, singing down the streets, jumping up and down. And this year, I've looked around me and I've looked at the people around me and I told Rogan when I got back, because I, I, Rogan was talking to me, him and his wife were thinking about New York or whatever and I said, you know, I love New York City, but for me, it works three months a year. It works in September, October, and April. No humidity, no cold weather, that type right. of stuff. But when it comes to the holidays, New York destroys L.A. by a landslide. What right? do you mean? That right now in L.A., like when I got off the plane, I could tell I was in L.A., and the Christmas period had just died. Like it just died. Like in New York, everything was up, lights were up, people were singing already, blah, 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 blah. You come to L.A., and there's really nothing going on. Last night when I got home, or two nights ago, Christmas Eve, I realized there was a North Hollywood Christmas parade. Did you know about it? No, I didn't. I didn't know nothing about it. I didn't know nothing about it. We live right here close to North Hollywood. I didn't know nothing about it, so... I'm not blaming anything. The, the The main topic here is depression over the holidays and how I I know for a fact I spoke to five people this year that were having a fucking hard time with the holidays. There's a lot of pressure. My dad even said it. He's like, when you even when you turn on the TV, all the movies and TV shows show people with their families and if you happen to not live near your family, it's like, gee, like, am I doing something wrong, or like, why, like, why don't I have that? And it's yeah, it's it's hard, it's hard to avoid this time of year. Like we were thinking of having people over Christmas Eve. I said, you know what? Let's just have people over Christmas Eve. I called fifteen people. Twelve of them were going to be out of town. <laughs> and then I was like, I got to think about mercy. And somebody invited us that's where there's 30 kids. Right. So we went that route. I wanted to spend Christmas at the house. I would have fucking done it up nicely, you know. But out of the 15 people I like, <laughs> 12 of them were gone. Right. You know, I just don't want to have an open house and then I have every fucking body at the house. That's my nightmare. Lying to you, yeah. An that, open house yeah. where anyone could just show up? Yeah, no, 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 thank no, you. no, 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 I really wanted to do that. But again, I called around. Steve Simone was gone. Kay Quigley's gone. Theo Vaughn was gone. I mean, the amount of people who were fucking gone was just mind-boggling. That's why I like L.A. this time of year. Because everyone it, leaves. It's it's empty, you know. So that 
that that didn't bum, bum me out. But I wanted to just give something back to all you guys. You know, I, I see all the time. I think it was me, you, and Diagostino. Like, out of everybody I called. That's funny, yeah. And Diagostino's from here. That's and why Diagostino's he's here. has got family, and he had obligations. So it would have been me, you, your mom, and the baby. The baby would have been losing the fucking mind at 6 o'clock at night on Christmas. So I said, forget it. Because that's all we're down to. You know, I mean, we have no family out here. Nothing like that. But all these things, I mean, none of these things on the surface or even on the interior bother me. None of those things. It's just this time of the year. Tent Planet Kush, it drains the lactic motherfucking acid. People won't cop to it. The health specialists say, no, that doesn't happen, Joey. Yes, it fucking does. I got friends at Harvard, bitch. I'm like God Brooks. I got friends in high places, motherfuckers.